Hi, in today video we will be talking about the history of Naruto Uzumaki. This history will talk about background and personality. Naruto Uzumaki, Uzumaki Naruto, is a shinobi of Kanahagakure. He became the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails on the day of his birth a fate that caused him to be ostracized by most of Kanaha throughout his childhood. After joining Team Kakashi, Naruto worked hard to gain the village's acknowledgement all the while chasing his dream to become Hokage. In the following years, through many hardships and ordeals, he became a capable ninja regarded as a hero both by the villagers, and soon after, the rest of the world. He soon proved to be one of the main factors in winning the fourth Shinobi World War, leading him to achieve his dream and become the village's seventh Hokage, Nanadame Hokage, literally meaning, seventh fire shadow. Background Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze, and the second Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, Kushina Uzumaki. He was named after the protagonist of Jiraiya's first book, thereby making the son and his godfather. Fearing that the stress of giving birth would break the seal containing the Nine Tails, the third Hokage arranged Naruto's parents to go to a top secret location on the outskirts of the village guarded by Anbu, with the midwives by Wako and Taji helping Kushina in delivering her child while Minato would keep the seal in place. Shortly after Naruto was born on the night of October 10, a masked man, who managed to track down their location, killed the midwives and Anbu, and took the newborn hostage as a means of separating Minato from Kushina, in order to release the Nine Tails for his own ends. Minato and Kushina protect Naruto. Minato and Kushina protecting Naruto from the Nine Tails. Minato quickly sprung into action, however, by the time he secured Naruto at a safer location, the masked man had succeeded in releasing the Nine Tails and used it to devastate Kanaha. Minato managed to save Kushina and left Naruto in her care before he went to protect the village. After having severed the masked ninja's control over the tailed beast, Minato realized the only way to stop the Nine Tails was to seal it within Naruto, believing that his son would someday have need of the fox's power to defeat the masked ninja when he returned. Because the Nine Tails chakra was too immense for the seal to hold on such a small child, Minato was forced to sacrifice his soul in order to first weaken the fox by splitting its yin and yang chakra amongst himself and his son before succumbing to his wounds alongside Kushina after taking a fatal blow from the fox meant for their son. Suddenly orphaned, Naruto was left to grow up knowing nothing of his parents, receiving only his mother's last name as Hiruzen believed it was best that nobody knew that he was related to the fourth Hokage. Despite Minato's dying wish to see his son heralded as a hero, only the third Hokage and a small number of the villagers could put their pain of loss aside and honor this request. The majority of Kanaha, consumed with bitterness over the lives lost and destruction in the wake of the Nine Tails attack, resented Naruto for it unable to separate the beast from the boy and with some even seeing him as the fox itself. In the interest of protecting Naruto and in the hope that the younger generations would not emulate this position, Hiruzen passed a decree of secrecy that strictly prohibited the adults from divulging Naruto's status as a Jinchuriki. This policy was not entirely effective, as even without knowing why, many of Naruto's peers followed their parents' example and shunned him. The social isolation would cause Naruto to develop a need to be acknowledged through mischief. Naruto's first encounter with Hinata On a snowy day while preparing to enroll at the academy, Naruto first met Hinata Hayaga, who was being degraded by a group of three bullies. Despite not knowing her, Naruto refused to let the bullies insult Hinata and came to her defense, but was outnumbered and easily beaten, with his red scarf trampled over by them. After Hinata genuinely thanked Naruto for his efforts, he let her keep the scarf since it was ruined, unaware that was when the young Hayaga girl's affections for him began. In the anime, one day, he was confronted by Sakura Harano, Ino Yamanaka, Shikamaru Nara, and Koji Akimichi. They accused him of making someone named Yoda, who was a stranger to the village, disappear. Seeing them look at him with such distrust like the rest of the village, Naruto grew furious and ran away, so angry that people would like even an outsider over him. He then heard a young boy crying who strangely appeared to control the weather, making it rain with his tears. Naruto then realized this boy must be Yoda. 
Immediately taking a liking to Naruto, the young boy asked him to teach him how to whistle like he saw Naruto do earlier. As Naruto began teaching him, the two soon became close friends. Later, Naruto and Yoda began playing along with other the Kanaha children that knew about Yoda. One day, while playing a game of hiding, Yoda insisted to hide with Naruto. When Naruto told him to hide somewhere else, Yoda mistakenly thought Naruto didn't like him anymore and ran away crying. His crying caused another rain shower, which alerted the Anbu. As they took Yoda captive, Naruto and the others tried to stop the Anbu, but to no success. Determined to save his first ever friend, Naruto and the others staged a plan with Naruto acting as a diversion. Despite finding Yoda, the Anbu easily foiled their plan. Naruto quickly joined his friends, refusing to let Yoda be kept prisoner. Seeing how much Naruto cared for him and then got struck down by the Anbu, Yoda summoned bolts of lightning to knock the Anbu out. Greatly weakened by the act, Naruto carried Yoda out of the village with the others, determined to bring him to freedom. Upon reaching a river, unable to walk over it yet, they chose to swim. Their attempts proved futile and nearly drowned, only to be saved by Yoda. Having overtaxed himself, Yoda felt his life fading. Happy to have had friends, Yoda didn't want them to suffer with this sad memory and erased all knowledge of him from their minds. Young Suzuki and Naruto Naruto and Sasuke's rivalry during their childhood Naruto eventually became the student of Iruka Umino and met his classmate Suzuki Uchiha when the two were paired to spar against each other. Though excited at the chance to achieve popularity by beating Suzuki, Naruto was easily beaten. By looking at Sasuke's eyes, Naruto realized that they were filled with hatred, even though it wasn't directed at him. When Iruka told them to make the reconciliation seal, they both refused. Since then, Naruto came to see Suzuki as a rival and intended to beat him. When he found out that Suzuki was also an orphan, he was secretly happy for not being the only one alone and wanted to talk to him, but couldn't because of his jealousy towards Sasuke's skills and reputation. Still, Naruto wished that someday, Suzuki would acknowledge him as an equal. Despite this, when Naruto and Suzuki traded glance when they were kids, they immediately looked away in annoyance but secretly smiled shortly afterwards, meaning Suzuki actually considered Naruto a friend somewhere deep down. In the anime, when Naruto pulled a prank on a group of boys for not being invited to their test of courage, he refused to return to the academy after being glared at by Iruka with the same resentful stare everyone else gives him. Later, Naruto was tricked by the boy's leader, Hibachi, to get himself killed by enemy ninja in the hills. Learning of this, Iruka ended up saving Naruto from a trio of Takigaku Kunoichi before Kakashi Hitaki dispatched their pursuers. Soon after, Naruto began attending class again at the time that Iruka, who now acted as a surrogate brother to keep the boy in line, gave a lecture on the will of fire that inspired Naruto to become the next Hokage someday to achieve the acknowledgement he is striving for. Apart from Hiruzen and Iruka, Naruto also found a surrogate family with the owner of Ramen Ichiraku, Tukei, and his daughter Ayung to some extent. Personality Naruto is a boisterous, exuberant, and unorthodox individual. He would end sentences with date bayo. When excited or frustrated, he has a number of childish traits, such as being a very picky eater, he almost exclusively eats ramen, being afraid of ghosts, and carries a chubby green frog wallet which he calls Gama-chan. Naruto is heedless to formality or social standings and has a habit of giving people he meets nicknames or addressing them without appropriate honorifics, as shown when he called the second Hokage a name he thought of off the top of his head instead of simply Lord Second, Naidame Sama. He can also be quite perverted, creating different forms of his sexy technique and once tried to sneak a peek in the women's bath when the opportunity presented itself. Despite these quirks and the criticism that follows them, Naruto is said to have a personality that brings people to him, inspiring friendship, loyalty and love from most of the people he meets through acts of genuine kindness and sincerity that could change a person's entire worldview. For example, during the Fourth Shinobi World War, Naruto's kindness inspired loyalty from the tailed beasts, and when linked to the entire Shinobi Alliance through telepathy, 
he reignited the demoralized army's fighting spirit, choosing to continue fighting despite the losses he could receive, as shinobi were meant to endure through hardships. On several occasions, the second Hokage has stated in many ways Naruto is very similar to the first Hokage. Naruto promising to return Suzuki back to the village. Years of isolation and scorn from the villagers made Naruto thirst greatly for acknowledgement and love. He would pull pranks around the village just to get a response from anyone and his desire to be Hokage was in hopes of becoming someone that mattered. Because no one in the village cared for him apart from Irika, and unknowingly Hinata, Naruto was completely unresponsive to the villagers yelling at him from his pranks, only showing response when Irika showed up. Naruto's time at the Falls of Truth revealed that a part of him hated the villagers for treating him as a pariah, only to turn to him after he saved them during Pain's assault on Kanoha. This hatred allowed the Nine Tails to manipulate Naruto in his rage, causing him to go on a rampage several times until Naruto confronted the problem and learned to let it go. As he grew in his ninja career, his goal to be Hokage went from a desire for acknowledgement to a desire to help and protect the people close to him, which Tobi attributed to the will of fire. Naruto developed his Nindo of never going back on his word, putting himself through any lengths required to keeping his promise. This was especially shown in Naruto's promise to Sakura to bring Suzuki back after his defection from Kanoha, despite the various hardships he was facing toward fulfilling his promise. According to Kakashi, Naruto is a kinesthetic learner, as he is relatively naive, simple, and slow to understand principles or situations, often requiring an oversimplified analogy in order to grasp what is being explained to him, much to his teacher's annoyance. Naruto is aware of his own ineptitude, and admits that he puts up a strong front so people around him won't know of his embarrassment and frustration about it, despite of all his accomplishments. Naruto responds best to competition, using it as an additional drive in order to learn new techniques, though he doesn't hesitate to ask for help if he needs it. Despite his naivety, Naruto can be quite observant, picking up on things others miss and retaining information casually gathered through conversation. In battle, Naruto has shown to be a quick thinker, making up strategies on the fly or inventive use of his techniques to catch his opponents off guard. While he can be calm and collected most of the times during a fight, Naruto can also get frustrated when he is unable to defeat his opponent, and can forget some concepts or weaknesses that he himself noted beforehand. The death of his master Jiraiya caused a large world shift for Naruto. Grieving for Jiraiya, Naruto swore vengeance on pain and left the village to learn Senjutsu. While training, Naruto read a copy of the tale of the utterly gutsy shinobi, which taught him that he was named after a hero from the book. Although further enraged by Pain's assault on Kanoha, Naruto soon spoke with his father, who explained to him the cycle of hatred of the shinobi world. After finally listening to Nagato's story and the results of the cycle of hatred, Naruto vowed to break the cycle and bring real peace to the world. Despite this desire bringing him in direct opposition to Suzuki and the rest of Akatsuki, Naruto continued down this path, resolving to end both the fourth shinobi world war and the cycle of hatred. Naruto watching Hinata knit. Naruto's shy personality as he observes Hinata from a distance. After realizing he is in love with Hinata, Naruto became not only protective of her, but also shy and flustered in her presence to the point where he accidentally told her how he felt. When Hinata rejected him so she could be with Tonari Atsutsuki, Naruto fell into a great depression and came close to giving up on everything until Sakura helped him realize how deep and unwavering Hinata's feelings for him truly were, and that she only pretended to reject him to have a better chance of saving Hanabi and stopping Tonari. This made Naruto more determined than ever to save the Haiga sisters, stop Tonari, and make his desire to be with Hinata for the rest of his life a reality. After several months of dating, Naruto and Hinata got married and started a family together with a son and daughter. In adulthood, Naruto has become much calmer and wiser in his approach, but still retains some of his childlike excitement. After becoming Hokage, Naruto has grown more serious and strict with his duties, taking up huge responsibilities and becoming overwhelmed. This has led him to create shadow clones to tend to his family, which has strained his relationship with his son Naruto, 
who would occasionally pull pranks to seek his attention. Nevertheless, Naruto loves and deeply cares about his family, as he is more than willing to protect them in times of danger, and tries to make time for them in actual person. Relationships Main Article, Naruto Uzumaki's Relationships Due to his friendly nature, tenacity, empathy, and unique charisma, Naruto has built many relationships over the course of the series that have defined him and others. That is all for today, see you all later.